Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, like the description said, we are gonna show you some secrets on polishing and just making your aluminum on your truck look a thousand times better. And we're telling you like the secrets that the professional polishers never wanted you to know. They're gonna be mad at me when they watch this video, but showing you guys all the cool stuff. Follow along, it's gonna be a good time. All right. You sure you want to show all these uh, secret tips? Yeah. Or you, you don't think the polishing friends would uh, get mad? So here's the thing. I mean, they might, but I feel like there's a lot of people that could really, this is going to make a big difference for them. So, I mean, like, I just, I think it just needs to be, I think uh, we're just going to do it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Here we go, here's the deal. This grill is obviously a little rough looking, but I've just, I've been around long enough seeing all these polishers working and, and everything. And there's, there's stuff that they do that they're not telling you that you don't really realize. And they've got their tips and they've got their secrets. And if you know this and I show you how to do it, it's gonna save you a ton of money and you're not gonna have to like always pay uh, to have a professional polisher do things. Uh, we just, we've got stuff over here on the cart. I'm gonna show you what we're using. I'm gonna go right through the steps. We're just gonna do like this area right here, um, you know, for the process. And then, uh, I don't know, we may do the whole thing. We'll just see how it goes. I don't know, that's awful. Uh, it's awful rough looking. I don't think you can get it out. Well, I mean, so you see these dents in here? It's got a pretty good one up here. Um, I can actually make all that look way better. You think you can? Yeah. Well, they don't, this is the thing. They, like, the polishers don't want people to know about this. So we're just going to do it. Um, okay, so I'm going to go through the process real quick. When, because obviously it's really rough and you need to get, a, you need to get this thing polished. And it's, it's got a, the surface is bad. So I need my uh, extension cord. We're basically going to start out with sanding this thing down and getting the, uh, getting the finish a little bit better uh, before we polish it so we get a good nice even finish with all of our sandpaper so uh, I need my safety glasses right here okay you all think I'm crazy but I'm not so I'm gonna start out on the grill with my grinder this is a I think this is a 60 I usually would use a 36 but I don't have one with me today and then we're gonna go with our sandpaper we'll go from an 80 uh, 240 and you know on down and then we'll start doing our polishing and then I'm gonna show you, there's a, a specific mix of products you put in that you're gonna put on this thing when you're done. And it's like, it's crazy. So just get over here and just, I'll just start, I'll start getting the surface cleaned up. <laughs> Get in here real close, like really, so you can really see what I'm doing, you know? Because you want to get around the cuts really good. trickier parts is getting you know around the hook so I gotta get see I gotta get it right around there and mm -hmm. you know, get it around those little places. <laughs> Also try to get the where the sticker residue was. We'll get that off real quick. <laughs>
that's step one. That's step one. So now we're gonna hit it with some sandpaper and then smooth out this. So we'll get all these like swirly marks out. Um, I can, that'll buff off. So that's not a big deal. All right, so I'm gonna start out with my 80. Ooh, air hose. Now we can sand this feed real quick. And I, you know, it, it, I'm doing this in a hurry, but I probably should have put a piece of tape there just so I didn't get into the paint. But again, I can just buff that right out. Oh, we gotta turn the air compressor on real quick. All right, we got our air back on. So now I'm going with 80. So 240 grit and also you want an intermediate pad, which is this little foam pad It helps it for like rolling around the corners makes a good smooth even surface when you're sanding Now we're going to want to wipe this off. Give me one second. So I've got uh, right here, I've got some, this just like we use in the paint shop. It's just for uh, metal prep. We'll oh, spray that on there. Free cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. Wipe all that off. We just get, basically we're just trying to get all the, you know, and you can already tell like this is going away. It's already getting better. Okay, that's good. Now, the next step is we're going to do our polishing. So, put this up. And I don't want anybody to think that, you know, it's like smoke and mirrors. So that's why we're doing this like all in one cut, kind of just real fast, just so you guys get an idea. Now, you watch all these polishers and they're like, you need to use this color for this and this color for this and this color for this. What I found. Brown on there, the blue. We get some green. You want a lot of green, so yeah, that. Yeah. You want to turn her up. You can see I've got a good nice black surface. I went ahead and ran over the paint a little bit over here too, just to start kind of uh blending. Buffing, yeah. Buffing the paint. Rag go. Is that guy? Get this stuff off. You can see this stuff just melts it right away. Comes off way faster. You can see in this area already, it looks even better than it did before we started. If you kind of stand back a little bit, you can really see how much better that is. So, I know that sounds crazy, and it's not a perfectly good finish yet. You can still see the dent a little bit, but it's gonna, it's, we're gonna get it to go away. So, now that we've done this, I'm just doing a little area. If you were gonna do the whole thing, you know, you'd wanna take your time on it. But, now we're gonna do a mix 
of stuff. Get in here real close, Shock, so they can see everything we're doing. So first thing I use is Time to Shine ceramic foam rinse. We'll put a little bit of that in there. And I got my bucket. I've got just a little bit of water in there. So put some ceramic foam rinse. Then Time to Shine. This is the chrome, chrome polish. This is one of the secret ingredients to really making it shiny. Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. You need a little bit of this because it'll thicken it up a little bit. And when you're rubbing it into the surface, it'll help. I don't have a lot left. Okay. I usually would use more, but we don't have a lot. Banana Magic. So how long has this technique been I in testing? I've been doing it for a while. You just use a bunch of Banana Magic. Just wipe it. It's all purpose stain remover. About a quarter bottle. Time to shine glass sealant. You're gonna want a good bit of that. It's gonna seal your finish up when you're done. Make it last longer. I'm trying to hurry because I don't want this video to be too long. I found this stuff. I was watching some guys one of the shows use it called triple blessing all-purpose cleaner i don't know what's in it but i heard this it. makes it works good i heard it's good stuff i got this renegade vinyl rubber plastic that also is part of the thing it'll add some properties for shedding water and stuff once we're done put a little bit of that in there then we got the renegade all-purpose cleaner just a little bit more of that oh this is a brand new bottle there we go. Pull that out of there. We gotta stir it up real good. And you can just kind of do that for a minute. You look down in here, just get a nice kind of like a light green color glue to it. Turn that around. Now, when you apply this, see it's all mixed up nice. You got the kind of light green hue. You'll see some like little, you'll see some little chunks and stuff in there from the different waxes. Um, and that'll get on a rag and it'll 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 smooth out you know as we're doing it and again i'm gonna we're just gonna show you this area but like i'm gonna after we're done i'm gonna go ahead and we'll do the whole truck but <clears throat> that would take a couple hours i don't want to yeah. do all that but me and you will get the whole thing done in a minute but once we we're gonna apply this all over it and we're gonna let it soak overnight so you just get your rag you soak it in there real good and you just start really rubbing it in really good like this i mean and this stuff is amazing so it's going to make your paint look better everything but that's what we're going to do we're going to rub that in for a few minutes like that you can already tell the paint looks shinier a little bit more on there get what i got just like that. More or less at this point, you can kind of zoom in a little bit right there and see it up close. See how stuff's running down. That the, the chemical reaction of this is literally like softening the metal and allowing it to kind of flatten back out. It's also making everything shiny. And um, you literally do this and you walk away, come back 24 hours, this thing's gonna look like a brand new hood. I mean, it really will. All right, it's been 24 hours. I moved the truck this morning out of the way because we got to put some other stuff in there. But now we can actually go, you did can it, see it. Did it work like you thought it would? Yeah, it always works. I know it. I know it's going to work. Right. Well, I'm skeptical. skeptical. I'm sure most people watching this video are skeptical. I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but let's just go look at it. Okay. It's, um, I think we're onto something, maybe bottling this stuff and selling it. I think we could do it. Look at that. Wow. I went ahead and put the bumper on this morning, but. I honestly didn't think it would book this good. It, it, it looks like the hood's been repainted too. I mean, it, it looks like a brand new hood yeah. that's been repainted or painted. I, I mean, if you look at like, I mean, look at the gloss in that dude. Yeah, look, no dance. 
Yeah, I mean, it's perfect. I mean, the Peterbilt emblems even doesn't look faded anymore. All that, it that one's completely gone. Yeah. I mean, it, you just stand back and look at this. I mean, you would think this truck just rolled right out of that paint booth behind it with a new hood, but it's uh, it's not the case. We should bottle this stuff up and sell it. Pretty amazing. I mean, just, you'd have never thought that I took a grinder to that. You know what I mean? You never would have thought. All right, mostly we're just full of it. We just wanted to be funny. Uh, it's a brand new hood. The truck was wrecked. And so we put a, took a brand new hood, painted it, put it on the truck. Um, there's no secrets here. Basically, we lied to you. Yeah. But hopefully it was funny. I don't know. Or everybody's gonna say this is the dumbest video you've ever made. Either one. <laughs> it's one or the other. It's gonna be one or the other. But, you know, hopefully you laugh. If, uh, if you're ever needing, if you have a truck and you need a hood and you need it painted, there you go. We actually have those in stock too. So you can call the Chrome shop. The number is in the description. Um, we have brand new hoods. We keep probably three or four in stock all the time. And, uh, you know, you call us up, we can ship you the hood. You can show up here, we can paint it and put it on for you, whatever. But there it is. Um, no secrets really given away here from uh, any polishing anything, but you know, some comedy. Because why not? All right, guys, that's it for the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Semi Casual Show. Go to our website, semicasualshow.com. And um, I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll put that special sauce for sale on the internet. Maybe somebody wants to buy some and try it. It won't work, but it'd be funny. Uh, otherwise, see you guys on the next video. Later.